Hello again, it's Priscilla Patel in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery. I have this overwhelming and completely foolish obsession, this idea that I could put some pillow paint, which is nothing more than white latex house paint semi-gloss from Color Place from Walmart into a dustpan-like container, which in this case will just be a cutoff covering from packaging, and blow on that. Let's just do that right now. Blow on that and then dump it out onto a canvas that I have vaguely covered, well, maybe a little bit more than vaguely, vaguely covered with some some more of that paint and used my, sil my silicone OXO omelet turning spatula and some paints. All right, let's get organized. I think that I, if I stick with three colors that are just my basic, I'll be happy. I have these small canvases. They were on sale at Hobby Lobby. They're, um, oh, what are they? Are they Modern Masters? I think they might be Modern Masters. But uh, I only buy them when they're 50% off. So even though I don't have any of the smaller ones without the sides, I'm going to take a chance on this. I'm indoors, and it's a rainy, rainy day. So I'm thinking that my paint will probably not dry too fast, even though the air conditioning is still on and might dry everything. I dry all my artwork in an air-conditioned dedicated room in case you guys are ever interested in knowing that. And I use GAC 800 by Golden in the pillow paint latex semi-gloss from Walmart as well as everything else now. I didn't always. Heavy paint has a tendency to crack and golden th that Golden GAC 800 is meant to keep things from cracking. Since I've been in the house, I've dried a couple things in the house, and I did have some crazing, which I don't have any explanation for whatsoever. But um, I want all of that paint off of there. I'm going to leave that aside because I might wind up using it in a second. I think this is going to go in my tray. I'm going to grab a couple of lids because that's how I roll. Instead of pyramids, I prefer lids. Now I can see I missed a whole side of that canvas. And this house paint will dry faster than paint with pouring medium in it. I am using probably some primary elements from Color Art. And uh, Tammy Anderson, my, my friend and fellow creator, has a coupon code on her page right now. If you see this soon enough, check that out. Check her out um, for Bloom Technique paints. And it's like 25% off. I have some cell activator. Yes, I do. It's over here. It's nothing more than three quarters Floatrol and one quarter golden carbon black from Golden, which is a fluid. And that seems to work pretty well. So I'm going to put this aside for, for a moment. And I'm going to get brazen with this. I wonder if that's tall enough up. It's probably not. What do I have that I can shore that up with? I can't shore it up with much because I need to blow it out in there. I just took that top off. Okay, so I think this is Venetian blue. And I'm going to go light on these colors. I'm also going to leave that top off in case I want it. I've shaken them. They are made up with either Vivid Polypour from Color Art, or three quarters deep base. Come on out. Three quarters deep base and uh, one quarter polyacrylic. Now this is only small, and those are probably bigger dots than I've seen people use. I am not an official um, anything with Sheila E. Sheila E. Art. This is my cell activator. I have been dying to try this. That's probably more than I need. I really did think that this would probably work a whole lot better <laughs> in a dustpan and on a larger canvas. I took my... Oh! Okay, well that is developing. And I'm disorganized as a son of a gun right now. So let me bring this back up here. And this is only the first experiment. If, if it even vaguely works, I'll be happy. Oh, 
All right, so there's a start, and I still have plenty of pillow paint left in that container, which I want to put somewhere, somewhere, where? I had a little, <laughs> there we go. Let's just prop it up so it congeals. All right, so that's kind of cool. It's not very complicated. I'm not much for pouring paint off of a canvas. I really would rather try and see what happens when I stretch it out. And if the first one works, maybe I'll do it again. I've got some beautiful cells. And I don't mind some of it going over the edge. Not much, please. <laughs> I like that little hook I had there. I'm just going to stick my finger in it. I do have some beautiful cells. I am going to just draw the edge down with my finger. I don't, I don't really care for using the pillow paint just because it's such a massive amount of paint that goes away. <laughs> but I owe this to myself and to anybody else who's interested to do this experiment. Hopefully my head isn't completely blocking the view. And I think once I have something spread out there that I like, I could probably also go in and add some of the colors that I did. I did a, a bloom the other day that was over a dry canvas with no pillow paint. And that seemed to work fairly well. I'm just going to stop that like it's an edge catcher. Use my finger like that. Because if I can get it to all congeal in that corner, then I can also draw that down over the edge. I know that's not part of this process. <laughs> I am want to break rules. I think a little turquoise in there would have been nice. I'm loving the stretching out of the cells. I don't mind if some of that goes over. I say that now, but I really might like to keep it. Because I like the idea of some black right there. Just going to drag those down so I have little marks on the edge. And it's a slow tipping process, but it's a process. And I need to learn some patience sometimes. I think one thing I didn't do that I could have done was drag a skewer through there, which pulls out tendrils and then it changes the design. But really, I kind of like it the way it is. And uh, I do want to wipe my hands off. I have a nice studio rag there. I kind of like that. It reminds me of a wave or something. So I am tremendously interested to add a little bit of this probably primary <laughs> elements. Don't know which color it is because it was such a long time ago I mixed it up. So now I've got some turquoise, and I like that. I like it so much I'm probably going to do it again. Because even though it's not really pillow paint, it's not the thickness of pillow paint in the background, it's still wet. And as long as I'm blowing it out, let's try with a straw. I love this purple. That might be next. Trust me to be unconventional. That's that's not bad. I was talking about dragging tendrils out, so why don't I just do that? I always, always want to put spirals in, but because the house paint is so thick, it's not really safe to do. It seems to drag down to canvas easily. So I really want some more of this purple. It's a purple flash from Folk Art. Color shifting. And I keep forgetting that that tip is plugged, and I could squeeze that for a long time. Whoop! There, it came right out, and ruined some stuff. Okay, well, I'm not going to worry about it. It's there now. We have what we asked for, just in a very unconventional way. I'm going to have to clear that tip. I also have to clean my fingers off because it's all over them. All right, I don't see any of that blue in there, and I kind of want some. Just a little bit of cell activator on all of those. I kind of want to just take a skewer and dip it in, see what comes off. They look like eyeballs. <laughs> okay, a little more, a little more cell activator. 
because I can. I just will catch those drips along the bottom, tap my finger in there. It's only a little tiny canvas after all. And because my white paint is in a squeeze bottle, I could, in theory, just put some white paint there next to this and probably pour it out. It's a little risky with the skewer, I, as I told you. It seems to drag down to canvas. But I'm not one to waste paint, and I've got paint on that skewer, so it's got to go somewhere, in my opinion, and that's all there is to it. I've got some more here, too. Even if it just drips down over the side. I wish I had cleaned that tip out because I want some more over here. In any case, let's just do what I said I was going to do and try some of this paint and see if it works. It's bound to move a few other things. And when I'm doing regular acrylics, usually I'll move the paint in the wrong direction to flow it. So I'm going to try that again this time. It's probably just going to swallow that blue right up. I'm not going for it. <laughs> But I am going for this right here again. That's probably more than I wanted. I didn't clean it out yet. No, don't, don't expect to pour anything out of that woman. My tweezers are on the Amazon link under the link tree underneath the video. They are stainless steel, which means paint comes off when I soak them. I love cleaning the tips out with my tweezers. This is a mess. I'm looking forward to using another bottle for this. I can't even believe I used a two ounce bottle. That doesn't squeeze very well. I'm really happy to have my studio rag, which is made of sweatshirt material. Should you guys ever choose one, use the smooth side. Okay. Sorry about my head. Bound to be in the way. That's actually pretty. I like that. I still didn't drag anything through, but I'm not sure I need to. How light of a touch can I use? Don't like those little trails. Those right there. So I'm gonna have to remember to pick my pick my paint up, my skewer up, and catch it on my finger. I'm kind of taking my time with this. I'm going to steal a little paint from right there. I guess I'm going to mess with my paint right there. Let that go over the edge. It's not super heavy. I like all that. But it begs me to add more up here. Nice. I like that better too. So not so bloomy for me. It doesn't look like flowers, but um, I still like it. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I might want in there. I always want more. <laughs> you know I always want more. And there's nothing to say that I have to add a cell activator. Tall. I could just spread my paint out and utilize the color. So I think that's about it and I'm going to do something that's supposed to be not a good idea which is to torch. Even though I think a lot of times it doesn't matter with things that come out of squeeze bottles. I do sell my artwork. My email address is below the link tree link below the video. 
much if you want to get in touch with me or ask me a question or buy a piece of artwork or even ask me about taking a class at the house in Spring Hill, Florida. I didn't care for that little trail. It didn't do it for me. It's simple. I'm going to probably do it again. This time I might actually use the dustpan. Huh. We'll see. Maybe I'll, Maybe one of those little dishes. Maybe one of... I think one of those little dishes because that would spread out nicely. All right. So this is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery reminding you to give me a thumbs up if you wouldn't mind pretty please and share my videos, watch them longer, look for the playlist with over 1500 videos organized by genre and topic and the hundred and the link tree holds pixels.com, Fine Art America, Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter links and Teespring clothing under the video has all of our print leggings and all of our print t-shirts. The community board will show you tomorrow's video. Facebook groups will show you Expression to Start Studio Gallery Appreciation Group will show you tomorrow's video as will the Pinterest board. Also if you have questions please feel free to ask. If you shop my Amazon link I really appreciate it and uh, it's at no added cost to you and it helps me out. Also on my Amazon link are volumes one and two my books. The first one is Because I Can. The second one is Unlimited Possibilities. I love you. There's almost 90,000 of you. I hope you come again. And um, I'm liking this more and more as I look at it. It's um, it's just kind of just kind of simple and classy. <laughs> and if I can, I will zoom in for you. Because I should have done that like five minutes ago. And I think I'd have to raise that up. I could probably get closer if I tried, if I lifted that up onto something. And just because it's you, I will try and do that. And then I'll have to focus again. Certainly got a lot of cells. Yeah, it definitely needs to be focused. Those cottage cheese like containers are kind of distracting, sorry. If I flip them over the other way, they'll be white next time. All right, I love you guys. I will see you anon. Priscilla, out. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. Almost forgot. Bye for now. See you.